What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can mod Call of Duty Black Ops 1, uh, the multiplayer zombies in campaign, on title update 11, on your JTAG'd or recent glitch hack Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, so we're going to use the GSC files here, uh, you'll need to download these files in the description below, you'll get a folder like this, it'll actually be a zip file, you can unzip it, and you'll get these right here we'll go ahead and close that out and you will need Black Ops 1 installed obviously on your JTAG or RGH system along with your title update 11 and you can download title update 11 from Xbox Unity there will be a link in the description below on how you can download title update 11 alrighty guys so let's go ahead and let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our GSC files uh, onto our Xbox 360 after we already have the title update installed and we're just going to connect to our Xbox 360 here and we'll go to USB 0 we'll go to our folder here and I'll go ahead and I'll drag these three files here you'll have four files in this archive here you'll see Xbox Xerox v3 you'll see the raw uh, folder along with the raw file manager .xex. you want to go ahead and drag these three onto your Xbox 360 uh, you do not want to transfer the launch to INI if you transfer the launch INI you do risk uh, corrupting your current launch INI configuration so I don't recommend you mess with that alrighty guys now that we have these files transferred onto our Xbox 360, we're going to head on to the Xbox 360, guys. So I'll see you guys on the Xbox 360. Alrighty, guys, now that we're on our Xbox 360 here, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our file manager. And we just, here we want to make sure that we have our uh, files transferred over. As you can see right here, we have those th two folders and one file here. We'll go ahead and back out and you want to go to your dash launch once we're in dash launch here you want to go to plugins under plugins here you want to add a new plugin and you want that to be the raw file manager dot xex alrighty guys so once we have that done we can go ahead and save it to our launch dot ini we'll go ahead and back out here alrighty guys so the next step uh, we want to go back into our file manager here and we want to go to where we have Black Ops 1 installed. In this case it'll be in my games folder here under Call of Duty Black Ops. And we want to go to where we have those folders with the mods. As you can see right here, you'll see this raw folder here. You just want to go ahead and drag or you just want to copy all of these over to your Black Ops 1 folder there. So go ahead and copy it. And once we have that done there, we're just going to go to our Xbox Xerox V3 folder right here. As you can see, we're going to open that up, and you'll see that we have our GSC mod there. So we're going to go to our maps folder here, and we're just going to copy this over. We'll go back out here, we'll go to the raw folder, we'll go to maps, and we'll copy that back in. Alrighty guys, now that we have that done, you want to go ahead and restart your Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, now that we are back on our Xbox 360 here, and after it is restarted, we're just going to go ahead and load up Black Ops 1. In this case, I'm going to launch it through Aurora here. And we just want to make sure that title update is enabled, as you can see right there. We'll go ahead and launch the game. Now it may take a little bit for the game to load as it does have to load in modded files although you should be good to go all 
Alrighty guys, right here we're just going to go ahead and press start. We'll go ahead and choose our hard drive there. It shouldn't matter what you choose. And as you can see at the very bottom, you'll see first ever Black Ops mod campaign min campaign mod menu. Uh, this does work in campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how it works in zombies. Uh, this will work online as well as this is the newest title update, title update 11. So if you do have your stealth service, you can go online. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go into zombies here. I'll so show you guys solo. We'll choose uh, Kinder Toten. Kino to my bad there. <laughs> Cannot pronounce. We'll go ahead and load it up here. And we'll go ahead and press A to skip. And we're loaded up here. And LT and RS loads up the mod menu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the next gen update. As you can see right here, I must turn on the power first. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, menu customizes. Why we can choose how the menu works. Like uh, in this case, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll show you guys basic mods. God mode. Uh, ammo, we'll choose that to unlimited. Max score. Aimbot, no clip. We'll choose our spawn guns menu. We can get a ray gun here. Upgraded ray gun. There, we'll back out. We'll go back to our mod menu here. I'll load it back up. Bullet effects. We can have uh, electric bullets. Go ahead and choose that. Change our stats. Game modes, all that good stuff. You have the crosshair menu. In this case, we'll go ahead and back out here. And this is Black Ops 1, as you can see. Modded, all that good stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.